Hi guys, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and everyone is managing to maintain some kind of sanity in this situation where we're all sort of trapped in in our houses for the last couple of weeks. Anyway, anyway, I my name is Paula. If you I haven't if you're new to my channel, I mainly do a bit of on like sub boxes and boxings. I do a bit of beauty, a bit of try on, a bit of bit of everything really, a bit of mum stuff. Blah blah blah. Anyway, for a bit of fun tonight, I thought I was thinking of what kind of things I could do for a video, and I was thinking it might be fun to do a video on my the bougiest makeup in my in my collection. Now, I know my collection is very minimal compared to probably most beauty YouTubers on YouTube, but I did think it'd be a bit just a bit of fun. And okay, for for those of you that don't like these kind of videos, or you you think they're a bit braggy, or I'm, I'm honestly not meaning it to be like this. It's just a pure fun thing. Most of this makeup I've bought before the whole coronavirus thing hit, and it was this is you know this has just been you know stuff that I've picked up over the years. Quite a lot of it is maybe New Year before sort of December, January, maybe in sales and things. A couple of pieces I've just re I've just recently bought. But, I, you know, I, I do understand that, you know, some people are, you know, in situations where they've lost their jobs and things like that. So if you're sensitive to that kind of content and you you don't want to watch that, you know, I'm no, no, I take no offence that you don't watch this video and you exit the video now. I don't I don't mind about that. It's, this is pure fun. And like I say, it's not meant to be like a bragging, oh, look, I've got bougie makeup thing. Uh, in fact, I don't really have that much compared to most most beauty YouTube, YouTubers. Anyway, okay, so starting off, so just a bit of fun, just a bit of a laugh. Um, I'm going to start with maybe, this is going to end up being kind of like a chaotic video. I've got everything sitting on my desk here, but I'm going to try and start off with base products. Now, the first thing I've got, and it's something I've had for a long time, but I still like it, is the Touche Eclat from Yves Saint Laurent. I think they still, they, they, still, they still sell this. I think it's still one of these products that are is um you know such a great product and it's a radiant touch one you pump it out like that and you give yourself a little bit of you can give yourself a little bit of a highlight and i've had i've bought lots of these over the last few years and because i do really love it and i do think it's kind of one of these like original highlighters but it still stands as test of time it's it's still such a standout product and so you know it's in the sort of 30 pounds range it's is quite bougie but I think it's a product that you do get quite a lot of bang for your buck there because it's sort of just um it just uh it lasts for a long time. It does last for a long time. Okay, so that's my first one, Yves Saint Laurent, the the Touche Eclat. And I like I've had that for a long time actually. I think my mother in law bought it for me for my Christmas ones. The next uh, kind of base product that I'm gonna look at is um I did actually get this fairly recently, actually. This is the Tatcha, the silk canvas. I just got the mini because I wanted to try it out. Um and it's, uh, you know, it's smells lovely. It smells like it's got a little bit of like lavender in it. And it's like a primer. And it's what you do is you just pat it. You just pat, pat it onto your face and it really blends it, blends it in beautifully. Now, I really enjoy this product, actually. I do think I would prefer the liquid one, but I'm certainly not go going to go out and buy another liquid, the liquid version of this until I use this up. But I do think I probably would prefer the liquid version of this um, primer. But that's a Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. And this was certainly nowhere near the expense. I think the full size of this is about £80. But this uh, small one, I think was about, I think it was about 30 if I'm right in saying. And you can get a Tatcha, you know, I think, I think it's kind of hard to get it in the UK. But you can get it from London Loves Beauty if you like Tatcha, if you want to try Tatcha stuff. The other Tatcha product I got, and this was a little bit more expensive. I think this was in about the, I'm trying to remember how much I got. I got this a few weeks ago, actually, because um, I hadn't really heard of Tatcha until very recently. And a lot of my favourite YouTubers were talking about Tatcha. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I really do want to try some of her products. And I got Tatcha the Pearl. And this is uh, under light and eye treatment. And you get it in different shades. And I got it in Moonlight, which actually is the lightest shade, but it does look really dark when you when you look at when you look at it. That looks really dark, doesn't it? Um, but that actually is our light the lightest shade. But it does, it gives you just a bit of a glimmer under your eyes, a bit of highlight under your eyes, and it does provide a bit of treatment. To, um and I'm trying to remember how much it was. I might, you know, try and put prices down below. Um, or maybe not, maybe you're not that interested. <laughs> But this again, I got this in the London Loves Beauty site, but I think again it was about it was quite expensive. I think it was about in the forty pound price range, 
Um, but it's a beautiful, I just think it's so cute. And I did see some people trying it on and, and it looked amazing, the results that they were getting. So that's the touch of the pearl. Sorry. Again, interrupt is always when I'm doing a video. I don't, even if I, if I learn how to highlight brilliantly, I don't know how I'm ever going to flawlessly <laughs> do that in my videos. Anyway, I'm trying to find the next um, product for, and I've just, I mean, I'm here saying like I haven't bought loads of things, but there's a couple of things I have bought recently. And this is one I want to try. I bought this and it arrived actually today. And this is, a, a, I really wanted to try the Charlotte Til Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'm trying to remember, I think it was Emily Hanhan, I think, who was talking about it. And she said it was absolute, or whoever it was said it was absolutely amazing. So I've got it in um, Cool Freud, which I don't think is a lightest shade, but is pretty much the lightest shade because I am very, very fair. And, you know, I, I've heard this product is absolutely amazing. It just gives you such a great finish. And I had a discount code that I, that I used to buy this, which took off quite a bit of money, which was really good. Um, I think it was in the look fantastic I got it and I think I had something like a 20-25% discount code so um, yeah that this is I'm really looking forward to trying this I'm not going to open it like up up yet because I do have foundation I want to use up first but I am excited about about trying this product it it does it does speak to me um, and I've heard so much so much good things about the airbrush flaws foundation i heard it's you know amazing um okay so that's that's, that's the next one the next one is also from charlotte tilby i've had this for a while and this is the hollywood beauty light wand easy highlighter and this is in the shade spotlight now this is one of these things it's it's actually it is a highlighter as well it gives you kind of a bit of a gold shimmer there I don't know if it's going to catch the light. Um, this isn't about the third. This is about thirty pounds. It was twenty nine pounds. Um, they're they're bringing out a range of a couple different different shades again. They had three shades originally, and I think they're like a rose gold sort of one, this one, and a darker one. But I think they're bringing out a uh, they're bringing out another couple. I think it is quite good. Um, I think you've got to be very precise using it. Because I think if you put it on too lightly, it doesn't really show up very much. And then if you put too much on, it just looks awful so you have to be have a light hand with it but how i'm trying to say light but not too light hand with it you've got to be quite precise but i do like it i do like it. i don't wear it enough actually i do need to try and use this a bit more because it was expensive product and i you know i, I do like it i do like it um the next thing what am i going to look at next I've got all these palettes here which oh my god everything's falling down um put the palettes over here now the next thing i'm going to again i've had for a while is the this highlighter from melt now melt cosmetics i think are really good now i mean some people might not class melt as bougie but i think 32 pounds for highlighter is pretty bougie to me and this is the the one from the their their day of the dead collection this is their illumination highlighter digital dust and this was the one when they had the um the um the the morte palette and the local pa the vida loca palette which was you know like the the sort of the mexican themed ones i had the one like verse you know ver you know day life and one of death um and they had this height i think actually i was just more attracted to the embossing because i thought it was cool but it is really nice it is really nice it is quite shimmery so if you don't like a shimmery highlighter you probably wouldn't like this one but this was th about 32 pounds and you know it it was quite hard to get at the time i remember because so it was sold out for a long time and i think i got it in beauty bay um but yeah, this is this is a sort of a kind of goldeny peachy with a little sort of shimmer through it. So that that's the melt highlighter. The next product I'm going to show you is now I am absolutely obsessed with this brand now. I've only got three things by them, but then again, given the price point, three things I think is quite a lot. And it's, this is Shantikai. Now I absolutely adore it. Now my probably one of my favorite youtubers on youtube teresa's dead if you haven't seen her channel honestly she's like the funny funniest person on youtube i absolutely love her she's really really um shot up in the view since i started watching her which is not that long ago till about now she thinks she's about thirty thousand views now, um subscribers now and honestly she does this like story time at the beginning about her life in new york and everything and her husband and going to work and, and she is so funny um 
in fact one of the videos she's recently put up has been it was really good it was about a haunting in her or old house and it just she just cracks me up she just does and she has the most amazing um reviews she's 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 really good and actually i trust her judgment on or her view on a lot of products so she's introduced me to shantakai Teresa, you introduced me to shantakai <laughs> and now i've no money no but um shanta kai and she was raving about this product which is a clad do face powder i'll just put, put it up there for you and this is an absolutely game-changing powder it really is now when when i did get it i had a lot of vouchers i got like some space nk vouchers and i had a big discount code off it so I actually brought it down to about 30 pounds, I think about 30 pounds for me it's normally about 75 but i ended up getting it for about 30 odd pounds and I thought I'll, I'll risk it at that. Now this powder is just, it, it's basically blurring. It takes out creases. It just makes your skin look amazing. It just, it looks like you've been airbrushed. It really does. It's such a good powder. Um, If you've, if you've got the spare cash and you're thinking, I really want to make, you know, like have, take a punt in some kind of eye, um, makeup product, I would totally recommend the Shantakai powder because it's just, absolutely fabulous and it looks amazing as well it's just such a beautiful packaging but the actual product is so good it's such a good product in fact this and that this shant the other shantakai powder i've got is probably my favorite makeup things in my collection at the moment honestly hands down the next thing is it was about a similar price point and this was like a, a limited edition release i think you can still get it some places and this is their perfect blur finishing powder again similar price point again i got a discount code on it so i was really delighted and i had space nk you know you get your points so i use use my indulge points on it as well and this is again very blurring beautiful powder it's got a little bit more of a how do you put it? It's, it's got a little bit more of colour to it than the other one, but it is so good. It's so good and light skin. And like sh Teresa did, sh Teresa, she's got, she always caught holes her skin, uncooked chicken. So that's a very similar shade to mine. So yeah, that's probably why, why we both like it. So that is, and, and look at that packaging. Look at that, look at that packaging. It's it's so cute, the little hummingbird. The thing is, so they, they had like eyeshadows in the collection, but I would never, I don't think I would buy eyeshadows from Shantakai because I don't think buying like a single eyeshadow I mean they've got this eyeshadow collection for like and you're you're paying about 40 pounds for an eyeshadow one and I'm like mm, there's no way I'd pay that that but this one here this this powder mwah, absolutely amazing love it love it love it now the other powder I got and again I got this I think on the black in Black Friday um, and again, this was another Therese recommendation. You can see that she's, you can see that I watch her watch her channel religiously. But this is the Hourglass, and this is in the Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Palette. Now, this is so beautiful. I wouldn't say actually, I love I used to, I love this I love this palette as well, and it probably be my favorite face face product if it wasn't for the Shantakai. But it is really good as well. And what you get is you get. Um, you get two finishing powders, you get highlighter, blusher, and one bronzer. The bronzer is never going to get used because I don't use bronzer. However, if you singly bought those, it would mount up to quite a bit. But the palette itself is about £75. Again, they seem to be quite a similar price point here. But it's, I mean, obviously you're not getting as much product individually as the Shantakai, but you do get quite a good bit of powder. It's very, very good. Um, I think the finishing powders are my standout favourites. I love the highlighter is also quite, quite good as well. It's very light. It's very light, especially for people who are like natural, a natural highlight, especially for people like me who are quite pale. The blushers I do like. Uh, that one's quite strong, the pinky one. Um, that one, is, the marble effect one's really nice. And like I say, the bronzer, I wouldn't be able to tell you because I don't use it. Um... But that's the Hourglass. So I love I love Hourglass. It's the only thing I own by Hourglass. And I would love to try something else by Hourglass, I think. But I'll have to save up. Now, the next thing I got is... I'm trying to find it. Now, I probably put it away. What have I done with it? I'm, it was a Trini... I, I was going to talk about Trini. The Trini... Um, it's not, not particularly... Would it be bougie? Trini Woodall's, um The Blurring part, The Blurring Powder. Is it in here? Hold on, just give me one second. I think I put it in my little drawer here. And I was humming and hawing. Yeah, here it is. Humming and hawing about uh, classing this as bougie. Is it bougie? Maybe. Well, she, it is about £24 for this. And it's her Miracle Blur. Now, I've barely used this. Well, I have used it a little bit. I suppose I have 
there's a big dent in it. Do I think it's worth it? No, not in my opinion. Um, I would prefer other products. I would prefer the if you're going to go for a, a, a primer blurring thing, I would go for the um, Tatchy Silk Canvas over this, definitely. I think this is very powdery on your face. It kind of crumbles into bits. So you get your brushing it off once this is gone i'm not repurchasing this i don't think it's worth the pennies um some people might some people seem to have had great effects with it i, I hear rumbling on the stairs i get the impression i'm going to get interrupted in a second but yeah so I, yeah i would say that this product i wouldn't purchase again i do think obviously maybe some people getting good results from it especially if you watch the videos this almost like people have like a facelift with it but um for me don't think i'll be repurchasing again it doesn't really work with me um so the next thing uh face face product i'm going to talk about is something i just bought today uh, well last couple of days and it came with my charlotte tilbury and i did get like i said i did use a discount code got quite a bit of money off it which was good and this is um the cheek shade smitten by chantikai so this is my third chantikai product now this was in it's about 30 odd pounds i think it was about 35 pounds and it's what what happens is that she you can see it's got an elephant on it now there's a range of about six different powders blush powder blushers and each of them represents a different animal there's one with a bee there's one with like a Trezo, dear. let's let's try and keep it down guys sorry or oh, xbox the xbox is the bane of my life at the moment honestly if there's a power cut and the xbox got knocked all out for the next day i wouldn't i wouldn't be sad about that Okay, so the cheek shade sm smitten. It says every 25 minutes an elephant has been killed. Today up to 38,000 elephants are killed annually for their tusks as ivory is seen as a symbol of wealth. Power and status. We can't live in a world without elephants. Help seen by fostering orphan baby elephants with the David Shelwick Wildlife Trust and organisation Shantakai is proud to support. So what it does is that it'll, it will, because of this powder, it will put some of the money that, it's, um, that I've paid to go and support that particular charity. Now, the other blushers will are dedicated to other charities. So the bee, the one with the bee in it, uh, um, you know, the money will go towards a bee um, charity. And I'm trying to think of other ones. I'm, I've had a complete mind blank. There's a butterfly one, that's right. And there's like one with like sea life, like seaweed. Um, this one I liked because I like the shade and I love supporting the elephants as well but I love the shade here it's a gorgeous peach but it looks like really dark there but you can see the elephant embossing I've been using it a bit today actually I had a bit of a shimmer over the elephant when it came and I've already taken that off but if you if you can see there it's um it's a very light peach a light peach it looks dark on there but when you put it on it's a very flattering peach shade and i just love the little silver the silver packaging there it does oh sorry i'll just pause my sorry it's going to tell the kids to quieten down my little girl's trying to go off to bed and uh and the boys are all yelling in the background my husband's like boys stop shouting i'm like yeah they're not going to hear you they've got their headsets on and um basically they're they're playing some new game that they got and I think it, what was it? I can't even remember what the game is called, but they're all all their them, their friends are playing online and shouting at each other. So, so yes, yeah, so that's my Shanta Kai blusher. I absolutely adore this. Really nice. Um, and I think it's a really good cause as well to, to for the money for the charity. Okay, so some eye products now. Okay, so I've got um one here which I purchased a few months ago was Natasha and I haven't actually used it yet but I really want to use it and I was thinking of using it in a video but I've not got around to it. It's Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Now everybody goes on about this palette. Every YouTuber goes on about it. if you buy one palette buy the Metropolis. I've done a couple of swatches out of it just to see the shades but it's it normally over like a hundred pounds. I think I use a discount code and got it for about 90. Um, really love it really love the colour story on it I just think it's gorgeous it's got every probably every colour you would need if you're into the kind of grungy colour stories like me they've got the greens the golds the dark blues the browns I just think it's gorgeous and I just want to look at it but uh, again yeah, this is definitely out of what class is bougie and I lo even love the uh, oh, I thought it's getting a bit dirty I even love the the packaging I think it's really sleek the kind of greenish leather um, yeah, I mean, like, I've looked at other Natasha Denona before I made my decision which one I was going to go for. Because I have the, also have the um, Sunset Palette here as well. And this was one of the ones that I think it was about just under, I think it was about four, £45. Pounds. 
which I think is a good deal for Natasha Denona. It's funny how there's some makeup that you're like, no, no, I would never pay for that. Ridiculous, a rip off. But then with you get certain brands that you're like, oh yeah, that's quite a good deal, and it's like nearly fifty pounds. You're calling it a good deal, but I suppose given Natasha Denona's prices, the Sunset Palette is a good deal. Now I actually like the Sunset Palette. A lot of people are quite critical of it they don't like it i quite enjoy the color story there there are some very very bright oranges and things which maybe i you know i need to blend in with other colors but i do love the color story there so when i came to thinking about the, the metropolis one i did actually have a look at some of the other ones because i did want to get one of our bigger palettes but then looking at the reviews and looking at the color story of, the, of this it was it was a no-brainer really it was this one so that's that's my natasha denona palettes now i do have a couple of Pat McGrath. Now, I've got this one here, which is actually I got a really good deal on this one as well. I got it for thirty pounds, and this is the subliminal, the mother, the Pat McGrath's Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze Palette. I don't know if it just wasn't selling, but on her website she sold this off for like say thirty pounds. So, um, so that's what the palette looks like, and it's just it, things is like kind of just standard neutrals. But I thought it'd be quite a nice uh, new. I wanted to test her more neutral um matte shades because i do have a lot of her kind of overly you know i've got a few of her shimmery ones and i thought you know i really really want to try the um the actual matte shades now this is normally about i, I think it's normally about 50 pounds but because she yeah these type of palettes these six pound palettes are about yeah normally about 50 but she was selling for a 30 and i thought i have to really get that because it would be great way of trying trying the matte now i did get this one and again, I got it in a shop. I got it in a website for thirty as well. And this again is normally worth about fifty. And normally, if you go on the Pat McGrath site, it's fifty. And this is the Dark Star palette, and I absolutely love the colours there as well. I mean, that's just really grungy and cool. Again, these are a bit more shimmery, so it's good to have the mattes to blend them out. Now, these are these are quite a good deal. I mean, these are. You can get these for like £22 each. Now these are the ones, I've done a video of it recently and these are the Pat McGrath um, IXC palettes so I'm just throwing it away. The pan sizes are much smaller but they're a good way of trying out her eyeshadows in a cheap, you know, in a more affordable way. So if you're really interested in Pat McGrath but you're like, I don't want to really invest, you know, 50 to £100 in them, go for these ones, the IXC palette. So you get two different ones. You get this one which is called Sublime which is more your bronzy colours. They're all shimmery. There's no mattes in this. And then you get the subversive palette, which is more kind of bright colours. You've got gold, a blue, a burgundy, a purple, and a kind of reddy shade there. And, you know, so it's a great way. I mean, I say the pan sizes are smaller, but look, I mean, you know, quite often we just don't hit pan, do we, in our eyeshadows. The next one I'm going to look at is Melt. And I have got three Melt palettes. I've got the Muerte palette, I've got the Smoke Sessions palette and the Gemini palette. So I just I just thought I'd take out the Gemini one just now. The sort of colour story there is looking at the dark browns. The, these ones retail for about 50, about 45 as well. Um I do like the um I do like the the palettes. I do think they're really good. I like they I can be a bit crumbly. They can't have a bit of fallout to them. <laughs> but I do quite like I do quite like their formula, I would say. I do like their formula. I think they're very rich, they're pigmented, and they just have such, an, you know, original colour stories. The next thing I'm going to look at is another eyeshadow who also... Now, this is my Linda Halberg one. This retailed about £45 too, and it's only four palettes, but they're so beautiful and original. I mean, look at that green one. Look at that. That's just goth-tastic, that one, isn't it? And look at that gold. I mean, these are just beautiful. They shimmer, they change in the light. They're just gorgeous. Um, and that's her um, Enchanted Mysteries palette. So Linda Halberg's a great brand as well. If you haven't heard of her, go and have a look at her online. I think she's an American, uh, American makeup artist. But she is such great, beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful colours. And this is actually one of her more expensive palettes. You can get a cheap, cheaper ones in the more 30 price range. Okay, the next couple of older ones I've got my from my collection. I don't know if you considered Laura Mercier, bougie, maybe you don't, I don't know. But I've got this Laura Mercier, and I love these ones. It's a bit wrecked now, actually. And this is the Intense Clays. I just love this. They feel creamy. They go on really pigmented. 
Um, I had this for a while actually, but they're beautiful. I mean, look at that. They just they just are gorgeous colours. And I, you know, there's the blacks, black, the maroons, maroon. They go on as you'd want them to go on, and it's got a little bit of a finishing powder there. If, if you, I, to be honest with you, I don't really know what to do with that. <laughs> Please tell me. Your setting, your setting powder, your light setting powder. I've heard of spe setting sprays. I've never heard of a setting powder. How do you use it? Does it not make your face look really kind of powdery? I don't know. I quite like more of a kind of dewy look rather than a powdery look. So I have used it as a base shade before. The next one I've had for a while is my Dior one. Um, I've even lost, oh god it's like falling apart now. That's really gorgeous. And this is the Precious Rocks one set a couple of years ago and I had to search around for this one in Glasgow. I remember, and it's a bit, I must have dropped it because it's cracked there, but I remember in walk, I was in holiday in Glasgow and I saw an advert for this and online I was like I really need that palette. I need that palette. And uh, nowhere had it. Everywhere was sold out. Like I went to um, every big store in Glasgow, Fraser's. I went to like all the kind of posh like makeup brand shops in Glasgow. You know, everywhere they were all sold out, and I was so gutted. But luckily, I managed to order it online. <laughs> there was and, no, actually, I'll tell you what it was. It was or ah, what I'm trying to think of what happened. It was out online as well, everywhere. And every shot, every every website was out. And I remember my mother-in-law, that's right, she got it. She got it when she came back from holiday for me. That's right, that's what happened with that. I couldn't remember there. Well, the last couple of items. Oh, this is just a Chanel, old Chanel blush I've got. <laughs> my Chanel bougie. I used to have quite a few Chanel uh, eyeshadow collection before I got into more of the indie brand stuff. And I had to declutter them recently because they were so old and like I had all they were all that kind of like four eyeshadow palettes that you get, and they were so old, they were crumbling everywhere. There was they had hit pan and loads of them. Some of them was shattered, so I did just got rid of them. But I did have maybe about five of the four pan ones, but I've still got my blusher which I just absolutely adore. And this is an innocence, and it's just I love this little brush actually. I've used this so much in holiday, but you know what? Blushers, they seem you seem to like they seem to go forever, don't they? Um, but the the pink in this is just a gorgeous pink. It's a very 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 natural pink. Love it. Um, and last thing, couple of things. I was just gonna go for a few lip products. Um, now these are wonderful. These are by Givenchy, and these are I'm covered in absolutely everything now. These are the um, Le Rouge Perfecto collection and I've got three of these and I've got them in perfect pink, blue pink and I can't even read that. What's well, number two one? It's almost like a lip balm lipstick. Now what you do is you, I'll show you this one. So you can see this is in blue pink. But you put it on, it's not blue, is it? It looks blue. But it changes, the, the shade of pink changes with the acidity of your lips. And they came into the sort of £25 category as well. And I just love them because I think it's so unique. I love, I actually love Givenchy. Okay, so that's really it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you, uh, you know, it's, it's been a long video actually. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, what's your favourite bougie brands? What what do you enjoy? What's the bougiest thing in your collection? Or what's the bougiest thing you'd like in your collection? Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.